Shalom. First and foremost, giving God praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom Rachakodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of Edifying Words, where I go into a particular word in a biblical verse and break it down for you. So this is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning... God created the heaven and the earth. Now, the important thing that you must understand here is that if you're a brother that's new coming into the faith and you, you have a desire to, you know, want to get a better understanding of, of the Holy Scriptures, one thing you must understand is that originally the Holy Scriptures was written in the, the, the Paleo-Hebrew, the Lachuan Kodash, as well as the Greek so in order to better understand words you have to go back to the Hebrew of the words so the Hebrew word here for God is Allah okay but in this in in, in but in this case Allah Hayyum, okay which Allah Hayyum, Allah Hayyum is plural for gods okay Okay, the, the almighty supreme being, the ruler of this universe, whose name is Yahweh, he did not create the heavens and the earth. He created his son, who is Yahweh Shai, and um, basically Yahweh Shai created everything else. He created the angels, he created his elect spirits, and he also create, he created, you know, and, and, and well, basically by Yahweh Shai and by the angels, Okay, by Yahweh Shai and by the angels was the heavens and the earth created. Okay, the, these are the gods that created the heavens as well as the earth. The heavens as well as the earth. Okay, Yahweh Shai and his elect men created the heavens and the earth. Now, furthermore, if we go over here to the definition of, of God, right? Notice how they have a uh, gad gad in there, okay. As a matter of fact, that's you um the um gad is one of the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. And how 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 do you pronounce gad in Hebrew? It's God. But um anyways, this is the definition for God, um from Google.com. It says in Christianity and other uh, monotheistic religions. The creator and ruler of the universe, which the Heavenly Father, he is a God, but he did not create the heavens and the earth. Okay, his son and, and, and his son's elect men created the heavens and the earth. Okay, it says, and the source of moral authority, the supreme being. Okay, a God is also a superhuman being or spirit worshipped as having power over nature or human form human fortunes a deity okay so idols idols can be um considered deities you know now while they're they would be considered false deities you know it don't change the fact that they're still deities in a way you know they um elam okay the east indians they worship shiva and Ashtoreth as gods you know Chinese people they worship Kimosh uh, you know they worship Kimosh which is supposed to be a water dragon as a deity you know Japanese people worship Buddha as a deity uh, you know you know Africans they'll just worship anything you know they'll, they'll, they'll make an idol out of doo-doo and worship it but um you know so-called white people they worship Satan you know Satan is their deity okay 
but the point is is that you know you know oh you ever heard of gamer gods gamers who are so good at video games that they're considered gods you know you know you got the gods of boxing like Mike Tyson you got the gods of Kung Fu like uh, Bruce Lee you know you know you got gods who, who are good at chess mm hmm mm hmm but anyways I hope you were edified with that I'm gonna say Shola Wong is on to the next one